Application is pretty straightforward, but it does take some practice, especially if you're trying to cover a fairly large area. In a lot of cases, the cars we build, we end up skimming these things from end to end and sanding 99% of that filler off. So you want to make sure that you spread it on with a uniform, consistent stroke and don't overwork it. Get it on the car and spread it and then you can come back and kind of knock down the high spots a little bit. But it's not something you have to keep working because you'll end up overworking the filler and it's going to harden before you're done pushing it around and it can start peeling off or uh, you'll end up spreading it too thin and having areas where you've got little craters and again, air bubbles. When using the Quantum One product, Evercoat recommends a process called a tight wipe, which you actually take a very, very thin layer of filler and just kind of scrub it along your panel and then go back and apply it again with a little more thickness. And this kind of preps the panel and gives the filler a tacky surface to stick to. Once you get your filler applied to the car, you have to give it the proper curing time before you can start sanding on it. If you start sanding too soon, uh, the filler is still soft and you end up just kind of gumming up the paper and it doesn't work right. So a proper cure time is very, very important. And this is also one of the differences between a traditional filler and one of the new styles like Quantum One. Uh, some fillers, if you let them cure fully, they become very difficult to sand. Uh, we find that the Quantum One product is a little bit easier to work, which is nice, especially on a large application. It doesn't wear you out in the first few minutes if you're block sanding the car by hand. There's various tricks to properly sanding body filler. Uh, you might find initially that there are some high spots that you need to knock down, and it's recommended to use a more coarse grid of sandpaper over something like a cheese grater type file, uh, because the sandpaper will still bring those high spots down uniformly without carving new trenches into the filler that have to be filled again with another coat. But you can apply multiple coats, uh, so don't worry about that, especially if you sand it off. We find that you know we spread the whole car and sand it off many times. Uh, and when you start getting closer and closer to your final desired shape, uh, you start using a finer and finer grit of sandpaper until you reach a grit that is acceptable to the primer that you're gonna use to cover it. Remember, body filler will absorb moisture unless it's something like the Quantum One, so it needs to be top coated with a primer. And here's where some people get into trouble, because if you look at what goes into a primer, primers are made up of multiple components. And just for round numbers, you might find a mix ratio on primer of four to one to one, which means if you have uh, one gallon of primer, you might have a quart of reducer and a quart of activator. So when it's all said and done, one gallon of primer becomes a gallon and a half of sprayable material. However, once you spray it on the car, a lot of that stuff evaporates off. And here's where people start talking about shrinkage. They talk about primer shrinking or filler shrinking. And what ends up happening is the primer, if you put a super heavy coat on, will suck right through that body filler because body filler is porous and it's like a big sponge. And if you put a heavy coat of the primer on, the surface of the primer dries, but everything underneath stays wet for a long period of time. So they recommend you dust your primer on in light coats so that each one can, what they call, flash off and start to dry and catalyze uh, so that you don't trap a whole bunch of solvent in the primer. The worst case scenario is you put a big heavy coat of primer on, the top surface starts to dry, and then you go back and block sand it, and everything looks great, but maybe a month later, maybe a year later, the solvents evaporate out, leaving all of those sanding scratches to return, which is what you tried to fill with the primer. And you can see this. You look at cars uh, at a car show or on a used car lot, and you'll find areas under the paint where you see sanding scratches. And a lot of times, those scratches were not there when that repair was made. It took a while for those solvents to leach their way out of the primer and out of the paint, and then everything kind of sucked down around it. That's what's nice about the Quantum One filler with its much smaller particle size. It doesn't absorb so much moisture, which can come back as sanding scratches later. Now we've been talking about using the body filler over bare steel or maybe over an epoxy primer. There are some times when you can use it over an existing paint job if you're just gonna fill a little ding or a small dent. And uh, the Quantum One is designed to go right over this kind of stuff. You just gotta make sure you feather the perimeter edge properly 
Otherwise, again, when you prime it and paint it, you might see what's called mapping later, and it looks just like, like a map. Like there'll be an island in the color with some little tiny ridge, and that's because where the filler and primer and existing paint all came together, uh, something shrank and uh, it ends up being visible in your final color. So if you're going to do a show car, you want to, again, make sure you get the body panels lined up in steel as best you can. And if you apply body filler from end to end, you're going to want to block sand the car from end to end. Make sure all the panels are installed so that your fender to door to quarter panel to trunk lid, even to the roof skin, everything can be sanded down to the same level so that you have an arrow straight mirror finish when the car is sealed and painted and buffed and polished. So this whole exercise was designed to hopefully point out some of the pitfalls of body filler, but also show that if it's done right and care is taken along the way, you can really rely on a good body filler to make your car stand out at the car show. And you can learn more about the Evercoat line, including Quantum One and some of the other fillers that are reinforced with fiberglass or Kevlar or metal 